Hi guys, welcome back to another macro episode. I had not shot any macros for just over a month and I can't wait to get into it. I'm at the local nature reserve, the local wetlands, and I'm hoping that I'll be able to capture some really cool subjects, cool species. The weather is pretty decent, it's pretty mild, it's not too windy, so the conditions should be good enough. Let's get it on. I'll be shooting everything with my Canon R7, the Lao One 19mm 2x macro, and I also have the Nisi 49mm close up lens attached, which has nine diopters, which provides you with extra magnification. I also have my usual diffuser reflector kit. You can't get this particular product anymore because that small business shut down. So that's unfortunate. Hopefully, in the very near future, I'll be able to review some other diffusers, such as the AK diffuser or the one from Cygnus Tech. So keep an eye out for those as well. I almost forget about my speed light. This is the 600DX2 RT which provides you with plenty of light. It's a very strong uh, flash unit. I will leave links to every single product that I own in the description. Some of them are affiliate links so if you decide to purchase you will also help me with a small commission to run this channel. Just about the exposure settings, the base default settings that I'm using with this particular setup at this magnification with this reflector and diffuser kit I use the flash at maximum output. The aperture that I tend to use is f11. It provides you with enough depth of field and the ISO is going to be between ISO 100 and maybe 300, 250 in that range and the shutter speed remains between 100th of a second and 200th of a second just to ensure that everything is sharp without any motion blur. I have found a tiny cobweb spider up here and the breeze has picked up a little bit so I'm gonna stay at 1 over 200th of a second f11 ISO 200 to begin with and then hopefully that's gonna give us a decent exposure. It's quite difficult to find our subject in the viewfinder but I'm gonna give it my best. I'm gonna up the ISO to 250. Just a slight increase in the exposure. Ideally, you would wanna start stacking at this magnification, but it's almost impossible because it's a bit too breezy and this tiny spider keeps moving around. I just found another spider species. Let's try and capture this one as well. This is another cobweb, I think. Oh, it's too windy. I can't keep it in the viewfinder. Finally got it on the 15th attempt or so. It was really difficult. Let's go down here. Oh, it's a little bit too boggy or muddy. All right, I found something. Looks like some sort of a lava, I believe, on this dead leaf. I don't know why this tree has died. Let's see if I can capture it. I think I've seen this one before. Wow, it looks amazing. A really interesting specimen. I think I'm gonna lower the magnification though to 1.5 to 1. Try to get the entire specimen in the frame. By the way, if you want to know how I set up my Canon R7 for macros, I've got a tutorial, so go ahead and check it out. I might be able to stack these last three shots, we'll see. Unfortunately, it moved away. I have actually spotted a number of these creatures on this dead sapling or that tree. Interesting. Can't wait to find out what the actual species is. I believe I have already captured it, but I can't remember their name. I have finally found a jumping spider on this native plant. I'm gonna try and capture it. I think it is a garden house jumping spider, a really large male one. Don't be afraid, buddy. Oh, it's such a beauty. That's nice, very really nice and sharp. I don't want to bother it too much, so let's head to another spot. I think I have found a tiny weevil here. Hopefully it's not gonna move off this leaf. I thought it was a weevil, but it's actually a beetle, I think. We'll know more once I try to identify it in the 
the app called iNaturalist, which is pretty good. I have found a large ant right there, just hanging on. Unfortunately, one of the antenna is always in front of the eye. Wow, those eyes are massive. After the first 20 minutes or so, I thought we weren't going to be able to capture anything, but as you can see, you always tend to find something interesting. I have found a tiny fly species here. I'm not sure if I have found some really cool looking, funky looking plant hopper, but I believe that's what it is. It's rather small. I'll try and capture it here. What if I turn this around from the side, maybe? Come on, buddy. I've never captured this particular species before. I think I'm gonna love this image. I have found some ants, or an ant's nest, right here in this dead log. And they are just coming out of a little opening. It's funny that there was a lot of movement initially and uh, they're all gone. I can't spot any over here. I think I'm gonna wrap this up now. I'm gonna head home. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little macro vlog. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. You might also wanna check out these next. Thanks again and catch you all very soon in the next one.